Hey, hey, Mary Contrary. What's going on, Starfish? Just sitting here waiting to hear a wonderful story from you. Oh, man. So this is another one that, I mean, it gets under my skin in a different way. So this is the story of Scott Tremoli. He's a Wisconsin dentist who intentionally broke customers' teeth (gasps) and used photos of the broken teeth to defraud insurance companies of up to $4.5 million. (gasps) Whoa. First of all, teeth are so expensive. That is an insane amount of teeth breaking he must have done. Oh, it is. Probably not as much as we would expect considering how much expensive it is. But anyway, that is so much money. And he broke their teeth? Oh my gosh, can't wait to hear this. I know. We talk about, like, we, I've joked about this with people before. It's like, you might as well just hand over your whole paycheck every time you go to the dentist or the vet. Mm-hmm. You know, because it's just, it feels like you're always just spending, like, hundreds and thousands of dollars on this stuff. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it yeah. just, it sucks. Yeah, and they barely tell you how much it's going to be. There's such a pain in the ass about it, too. Oh, yeah. Like, you never know what your bill is going to be, which drives me crazy. Right. Why don't they have the same rules as regular insurance? You know, I just don't understand why it's a whole other system. It's so annoying. Well, and honestly, like just going to my dentist, like they tell me dental insurance, it's more of a discount program, which I 100% agree agree with. (laughs) Right. And I'm going to go ahead and call out a big company on here. Delta Dental, you suck and we hate you. Is there any other dentist insurance out there? I don't think so. So it had to be them. That's the only one I've ever had. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and it yeah, sucks for yeah. everyone. Somebody needs to compete. How is that not in Congress as like a monopoly? I don't get it. I know. It's pretty crazy. What I don't get is how come it is that they can't pay for like if you broke a tooth by accident or even over time your tooth just ended up with a disease. None of it's covered. I just think it's total BS. My opinion. It is. Their plan is just brush your teeth and floss. That's it. Apparently that will keep it. Except mine. I grind my teeth. Right. Out of stress and it cracks my teeth and then stuff gets up in there. And so I get way more cavities than most people do because I grind my teeth. It's not my fault. I mean, it is my fault, but it's totally genetic. My mom does it too. So it's like, okay, I take the responsibility of grinding my teeth. I'm in therapy, everybody. All right. But, you know, this isn't really something that I brought on myself, I guess, you know. Right. Yeah, I know. I I totally hate that. Like, I feel like everyone should have equal access to that. I feel like just stuff should be covered. Implants should be mostly covered. I can understand. They try to like say it's a cosmetic thing, but it's also painful to not have teeth. We need them to eat food and stuff. So right. I don't understand where cosmetics comes into play there. It will kill you if you don't take care of your teeth. I mean, it will kill you. Literally. It will. Oh, yeah. My mom had a bad tooth for days and she did not go to the dentist. And then it just kept getting worse and worse. And she finally got a nasty infection. And that's right there by your brain. It can get in your bloodstream and kill you. Oh, yeah. And it's happened before. I mean, I've seen it in the healthcare field. People have come in, you know, they go for their these deep cleanings or whatever, and the dentist isn't paying attention. And this bacteria that's in their mouth gets in their bloodstream and causes them to go into cardiac arrest and die. Like it's happened. Oh, my gosh. That's horrific. Yeah, like it's really bad. So if you're going to people that don't know what they're doing or this crazy jerk that actually purposely, Ugh. like if someone if someone purposefully drilled, because I know that my teeth are good, like I'm blessed with that, thank God. I've not had to like have any, you know, knock on wood, any major dental issue, but like someone purposely breaking people's teeth, like, that's ridiculous. Horrible. I'm surprised they didn't notice. I don't know. I'm just really right. I'm, like, would you? I'm not... really close with my teeth, you know. Yeah, like I, <laughs> I'd be like, "What do you mean? I need a crown? No, I don't. Like, I've never had any issues at all. So where is this coming from? You know? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't believe he does this. Just an ass. So this guy, he's 61 years old. Okay, he ran Jackson Family Dentistry. So it's this Ugh, local. Yeah, a dentist practice in Jackson, Wisconsin. He was first licensed in 1986. So the guy's been in the field for quite a few years. Yeah. And I guess beginning in 2015, Scott was feeling that he needed more money. He started convincing patients for the need of getting crowns put in. And he would intentionally chip their teeth with his drill so that he could crown the tooth. (sighs) Wow. So, I mean, have you ever had a crown put in starfish? I have. I've had two. Okay. What is that procedure like? So they take your tooth and drill it down to a nub, basically. 
First, they make a mold of your tooth and then they take what's left of it, grind it down to a nub, and then they make like a little fake tooth that matches your tooth, except it doesn't really, but it does enough. And I had to have it on two teeth that I've cracked by grinding them. Okay. Uh Uh-huh. Actually, I got an abscess on one on the top. Oh. So I I grind so hard that I pushed it up into my gum and created a pocket. Yeah. I know. It's really bad. The grinding is so bad. I've tried to stop it. I, I've tried to wear guards that they just fall out at night. It's it, right. I've yeah. tried to deal with it. I'm actually not surprised they caught this guy because for 30 years he was running a practice and making a certain amount of money. And Well, but it wasn't until 2015 that he started doing that. Right. But then all of a sudden he probably started making like a significant amount more. There's oh, yeah. like statistically oh, yeah. significantly more teeth breaking or something. Oh, yeah. Insurance like- is like, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, so what he would do, like, to get this, he took pictures and x-rays of the damaged teeth, and then he sent them out to insurance companies. Delta Dental, like we said. Yeah, So the and one. Then, yeah, right? An executive with one of the insurance agencies testified that on average, Wisconsin dentists installed fewer than six crowns per 100 patients. However, Tremoli installed more than 1,600 crowns over a 20-month period. <laughs> so... His rate was more than 32 crowns per 100 patients, right? Oh, my gosh. What an idiot. If you're going to crank it up, don't do it that much, man. Right. What was he, gambling or something? I mean, why did he need this money all of a sudden? Right. Yeah, exactly. I don't know what he was thinking there. 32 per 100 patients. It seriously takes them two minutes to do the crown, too. It's so annoying. They have other people doing the drilling, and then they just literally come in and go, boop, you're done, the dentist. And then he's like, I just made like five grand right then. Two minutes. Boom. Yep. You paid probably an amount of copay that you had to pay on those crowns, right? Yeah. Uh Uh-huh. Because they're not usually fully covered, even though they should be by dental insurance. Yeah. For some reason, I don't know if it's because I use the right words and say it's because I grind my teeth and they can see I grind my teeth. Like I even had braces because I grind my teeth. So I've always gone to the dentist. It's very consistent for me. So it might be a different story for everybody, just depending on the patient. You know what I mean? Like if you use key words, they do key things. So it might be that because I grind my teeth, my insurance company pays for it. I don't know. I don't know, because I don't feel like I have to pay that much out of pocket. Now, my husband, he has really bad teeth because it, let's just say it has to do with fluoride in the toothpaste. Right. His procedures are so expensive because it's not due to something that you can't help, like grinding your teeth. It's because there's no fluoride in the toothpaste that he uses. So I think that's what it is anyway. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Got it. Yeah, there's all these factors. So but anyway, so this guy during the dental checkup, he would show his patients an x-ray of a healthy tooth, but then drew their attention to a line or spot on the tooth. He claimed it to be a fracture or decay and that it needed a crown. So patients who believed him, yeah, because he's a dentist telling him this, they just accepted because I would too, if it's the guy I've been going to for years. And he's like, hey, I just right. wanted you to know you have this hairline fracture in this tooth and we need to do right. a crown. Of course, I wouldn't question I would it be either. like, okay, well, yeah. I guess that's what we have to do. Right. It's just so crappy. So this guy named Todd Tedeschi, a former patient, testified that Chermoli convinced him to get two crowns at the same time oh to avoid repeating anesthesia. And Todd's teeth weren't even bothering him. And he thought that Chermoli's suggestion was excessive, but he trusted him because he's a professional, not knowing any better and agreed to the procedure. So what patients didn't realize is that this teeth breaking fraudster dentist here was going to break their teeth and take an x-ray that would accompany an insurance claim. And then since the insurance companies don't generally cover crown procedures fully, the patients had to pay for part of the cost of the crown installation. So Charmoli made false statements to dental insurers Mm. when they denied initial claims for (sighs) coverage. So here's where he gets busted. Okay, right. Right. He's making hand over fist money doing this, right? So in 2019, he decided to go ahead and sell the practice. Okay. And so the new owners and the new doctor that have have taken over this practice, they they started (laughs) reviewing all these files, right? And then they saw that these crown numbers were just like highly unusual, right? Like you'd be like, what's wrong with like, are people eating... Uh, do they eat dirt here? Are they eating rocks? <laughs> Are you do you put jawbreakers in the candy jar out front or something? <laughs> uh, yeah, like <laughs> I mean, I would probably question that too as a professional. Yeah, and be like, why are so many people getting crowns? Like that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. So then they started to look into this more, and the, and this concurred with the testimony from uh, Bailey Bayer 
who was a former assistant at uh, Jackson Family Dentistry, mm. who said that the office became extremely busy after it re- uh, relocated to a larger space. Uh, Charmoli had hired marketing consultants who urged the office to sell more services. So who knows what other stuff he was doing too, probably. Um, and so she noticed that there was significantly tighter scheduling, more procedures, and a smaller staff to patients ratio. Um, she said, although she was new to the practice, it didn't make sense to her that x-rays would be taken after Tremoli had done some drilling. She thought that was weird. <laughs> yeah. right? And so she added that Tremoli would say he used to work in insurance and the insurance is going to want to see that thing. So, Ugh. so basically she left her job after it became unbearably uncomfortable and stressful, right? Seeing people being forced to do procedures that they don't need. Right. She's like, I'm out of here. This is ridiculous. And then according to the indictment, Charmoli received $318,600 out of $745,570 in claims submitted to Delta Dental between January 1st, 2016 and June 2018. Wow. And then he also received another $114,294 on claims during the first six months of 2019. So the FBI was investigating this case. And Assistant U.S. Attorneys Julie F. Stewart and Michael A. Carter, they prosecuted it. The evidence showed that Tremoli billed over $4.2 million for crown procedures between 2016 and 2019. Wow. So in December of 2020, a federal grand jury indicted Charmoli after a four-day trial in Milwaukee federal court. And so the jury found him guilty on several counts. So he faces up to 20 years in prison. (laughs) And in addition, like about 100 former patients of the Jackson family dentistry have sued him for medical malpractice. Yeah. So those cases are now pending. Unfortunately, I don't think that these victims are really going to get anything from this he's probably going to have to pay the state back and do his time. You know, he's already in his sixties, so he'll be 80 when he gets out of prison, if he makes it that far. So I don't think uh, anyone's going to see much. Yeah. I mean, he might have to pay a little bit based on his assets, you know? Yeah. I mean, they'll seize everything, but like, like we've said in like these past cases, a lot of times what happens is like the FBI comes in and they take everything, but then it's like most of it goes towards like the court costs and the lawyers, and then very little ever goes to any of the victims. It's just a shitty way that our justice system works, so. Yeah, we, I thought we already paid the courts and the, (laughs) I thought, isn't that what the funding, okay, let's, let's not go there, but I'm just so frustrated with everything right now. So that is a crazy story. I can't, I, I mean, I don't think this guy is all that smart though. This is pretty stupid. It sounds to me like they, you know, dentists are like, baseball players their stats are pretty steady and if all of a sudden it changes you notice that's the thing with insurance i mean one time we had somebody scamming from us at a store i used to work at and it was so obvious because the amount of that thing that they were selling and pocketing the cash for was like so obvious because the amount the amount of them went up significantly it was so obvious to see so i feel like this guy is the same problem all of a sudden your numbers are 32 to 6 why didn't you just scam a little bit and do like a couple people a year, get your, you know, few thousand dollars extra. And then it would just be like, oh, maybe he's just a really thorough guy, you know? Yeah. Like nobody would ever know. Right. Like if he just did like a little bit, which is still terrible in and of itself. It is. Go to more than one place for sure. Exactly. Yeah. You always got to be changing that up. But like uh-huh. also who knows what type of crowns he's putting in because some of them are varying in price too. Like the resin ones are the cheapest. Mm-hmm. Then there's stainless steel ones that they usually do like in the back molars and then metal crowns. And then they have porcelain fused to metal. And then all porcelain and all ceramic are the most expensive. So he's probably charging them for that. Of course, if you're going to scam someone, you're going to want to charge them the most expensive one. So yeah, right. It doesn't say anywhere in here what type of crowns he was putting in, but I'm sure he was doing whatever gave him the most money. I feel like something must have happened where he just suddenly his practice like was taking a nosedive or his personal life got bad somehow because all of a sudden with this upgrade and then probably so that he could just sell it, you know, he could write it out so he could sell it and make more money by selling it too. Because like, look, I have all these clients and look how much money I make. You guys will make the same amount. Here you go. You know, 
Right. I don't know. Just a thought. Doesn't say it. Maybe it'll come out more in court and stuff, but. Crazy story. These people, I mean, you trust them. It's so horrible. Yeah, you literally lay there and they literally open your mouth and give you drugs and like drill your teeth and here they are breaking them. Ugh, just infuriating. That's really terrible. Yeah, and and they, they had to pay for him breaking their teeth. <laughs> right, you mofo. You know, that's the shittiest God. part. It's like, there, some of them probably had crappy dental insurance and had to pay like anywhere from probably 600 to 1,000, 1,400 for a crown. Right. That's awful. That is awful. Man, just so messed up. Yeah, yeah, 100%. What an ass. I hope he thinks about that when he's in jail for pretty much the rest of his life. Like, he could have just retired as a normal human being. Right. But that's why it feels like something happened at that point in 2015. Like, something was going on financially where he suddenly needed to raise a lot of capital. Maybe it was just what it said. Like, he was just ready to retire. And he was like, I'm going to make $4 million before I leave. <laughs> you know? I need a better retirement than this. I don't know. Uh, yeah. <sighs> well... Something. Change your dentist, everybody. No, I'm just kidding. Just go to another place. Yeah. Maybe right. double check. <laughs> yes. You know, always get a second opinion. Yeah. I always say be an advocate for yourself out there. It doesn't matter what it is, health or dental. Just always double check that. If someone's telling you you need something, go get it checked. This is why more wealthy people live longer is because they advocate for themselves. That's right. literally what it is. It's like a huge factor. It's not just because they have money. It's because they feel entitled to better care. So therefore, they'll fight you. No, I need this procedure. No, I'm going to somebody else. So I've taken on that attitude with my health too. Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Always get a second opinion. Always get two or three quotes, people, on whatever it is that you're doing. I promise you it'll serve you well. Yeah, and ask around. I think that's the number one thing for me. Ask around. Yeah, don't just trust. Check reviews. Yep. Okay, until next time. All right. Thanks, everyone, for listening to Real Talk. Don't forget to subscribe to our podcast wherever you listen. We look forward to having you on our next one.